in this video, the next built-in function in Python 3. Taking a look at the documentation, next takes two arguments, an iterator and an optional default argument. And basically what next is, is an implementation of the next dunder method. So let's start by creating an iterator object and assigning that to our variable a. So we'll do iter and we'll do a list of strings. So we'll do Python is great. So here we go. We have our list iterator object and here's where next comes in. And if we run it, we get Python and then is and then great. And basically we're just getting the next item in our iterator object. Well, now that we're out of items, what's gonna happen if I run this again? Well, we're gonna get a stop iteration error, and this is in the docs as well. Now, the way to get around this is you could add that default argument, and you could say, I don't know, end of iterator. And so when we run this, we're gonna get end of iterator because that's, uh, that's where we're at. I also wanted to show you that for our list iterator object, if we ran dir on that, we can see next in here, see that next method. And so next is really just an implementation of this guy. And so we could do the exact same thing in the dunder style. And you know, we get is and then we'll get great. The next built-in function is just kind of a cleaner way to do that and on this time we'll get a stop iteration error again you can add our default like uh, hey the last thing I want to show you is that you can only traverse an iterator once and so let's just run this and take a look so we do our first iteration we get one through five just fine and then when we start our second iteration it gives us a stop iteration error the idea is that you can only traverse an iterator once and it cannot be reassigned to zero. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.